All right, you guys, today we're going to make this text effect in Illustrator inspired from Adobe. I saw this text effect somewhere on Adobe's YouTube channel. I select the type tool, type whatever you want, press and hold shift plus alt, scale it up. I'm going to change the font to Bueno Black. And I'm also going to add a distance 25. Right click on the text, create outline. I'm going to change it to a gray color. Let's go to the effects, 3D materials, 3D classics, extrude and bevel. I'm going to decrease this to zero at here six I'm gonna rotate this upwards i think i gotta go with 10 rotate a little bit more 21 i gotta click ok go to object expand appearance right click on group right click on group i gotta select the letters press and hold shift select all the letters right click group and we got here this interesting shadings when we're talking about like curvy extrusion so i'm gonna select it Go to Pathfinder, click on Unite. You also can go here to the Properties and you're gonna find the Unite option from the Pathfinder. And I also gonna unite these small details and do the same thing with the rest. Make sure that things are here united. I'm gonna select the text here and I'm gonna go to the gradient, activate the colors and you can copy paste the color code. I'm gonna double click and here is the hex code 6515FF. Purple one is ED1E79 and yellow is FCEE21. I'm also gonna need to change the angle. I'm gonna go with 90. And for the 3D extrusion, I'm gonna add a different gradient and it's gonna be a purple and a blue. I'm gonna double click on the purple. It's 662D91. One blue is 29ABE2. I also gonna press the letter G and I'm gonna rearrange the gradient. And I also gonna select these darker areas, press and hold shift, select all the dark spots. And I'm gonna recolor it. I'm gonna go with that purple. I'm also gonna send this back, arrange, send it back. I'm gonna double click on the color. Oh, and I'm gonna make the rest, which are flat, blue. I'm gonna go with this blue, nice. And I'm gonna select these two and add the gradients. Now I'm gonna select the text, press and hold Alt, drag it somewhere here. I'm gonna swap it from fill to stroke, click on the stroke so it's gonna be on the top, switch up the color to white. Actually double click on the circle and click on white here. I'm gonna add a background color. I'm gonna swap it from stroke to fill, click on the fill and I'm gonna select the darker blue. Right click, arrange, send to back, boom. And now I'm gonna create a new copy of the text. Press Control C and then Control F. So it's gonna copy paste on the top, or you can go to edit, paste in front. I'm gonna switch up the colors to white, and I'm gonna go to the stroke settings, increase the stroke. I'm gonna change up the stroke to black, and I'm gonna increase the thickness, something like this. Go to object, expand. Click OK, press and hold Shift plus M, or you can go to the Shape Builder tool, press and hold Alt plus Control, and I can select this black stroke and it's gonna delete it. I also gonna delete the interior part and also the rest. And I also gonna select the rectangle and cut off the bottom part. Press and hold Shift, select both, press Shift plus M, press and hold Shift plus Alt, and you're gonna delete all these together, nice. Click on the gradient, I'm gonna remove the center one and I'm gonna recolor them both to white. There we go, and this white, I'm gonna decrease the opacity to zero. The angle is gonna be on 90. There it is. I'm also gonna create a new copy. I'm gonna select this one, press and hold Alt, drag it right here, make sure to intersect. And I'm gonna copy paste the background color, double click on this dark color, make it more darker. And I'm gonna press and hold Alt, drag it somewhere here, press and hold Shift, select both, go to Object, Blend, Make, double click on the blend, select Specify Steps, increase the number, I'm gonna go somewhere around 50 and click OK. And I'm gonna press and hold Shift, select also the background, right click, arrange, send to back. Now we got a shadow and look at that. I also got to decrease this wide blend. I got to go to transparency, decrease the opacity somewhere around 50 ish. And there you go. It's not even that complicated. And this was it. Thanks for watching.